What's up guys and gals? It's time once again for Wrestling Jeopardy. I'm your host, Kevin J. Callis. Yeah. And let's go to the board now and check out the categories that you'll test your knowledge on in this episode, starting with geography, followed by bodyguards. Next up we have nicknames, and then Three's Company, which are gonna be talking about famous wrestling trios. And last but certainly not least, Tag Team Brothers. And notice the quotation marks around brothers. Brother, 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 brothers, brother. If this is your first time playing, well, welcome in. I appreciate you stopping by. Here are the not so extreme rules so you understand exactly how this interactive play along trivia contest works. All I ask is that you leave a comment with your score below and quite possibly you might wind up sitting. Where, Dwayne? At the head of the table. All right, so let's jump in and kick things off with the 200 point round, the easiest round in Wrestling Jeopardy. We're going to Geography for two. Who hails from Death Valley? You know, I've always been a weather nerd, so I never quite understood why The Undertaker was from Death Valley because summer temperatures on average in the shade in Death Valley are about 120 degrees. And the dude's wearing all black. <laughs> who puts that? Who puts that on the, ooh. Let's go to Bodyguards for two. In June of 1993, Kevin Nash left WCW and signed a contract with the WWF where he became Shawn Michaels' bodyguard under this name. Given the nickname by Shane O'Mac, Shane McMahon, the correct answer is Diesel. Of course, I'd also accept Big Daddy Cool Diesel. And you get extra credit if you did this sound effect while answering the question. Big Daddy Cool Diesel! <laughs> and that brings us to nicknames for 200. Who is the princess of Staten Island? And the answer, who is Carmella or also Mrs. Corey Graves? And that brings us to Three's Company for 200. What was the name of the trio of Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins? And the correct answer, who was The Shield? All right, let's finish up the 200 point round with Tag Team Brothers. What started as a silly storyline full of half-brothers was the reason this pair eventually teamed up not only in ECW, but also WWE, Japan, and TNA to become one of the most decorated tag teams in wrestling history. And the answer, who is Bubba Ray and Devon the Dudley Boys? Now, before we move on to the 400 point round, just want to give a quick shout out to The Brass Ring, The Mike Sanchez Show, The Wrestling Show featuring Sleazy and The Fat Man, and Egg Buscus. Really appreciate you guys doing reaction videos to Wrestling Jeopardy. Keep them coming. All right, so let's move on to Geography for 400. Who hails from Bad Street, USA? Yes, that's Bad Street, Atlanta, GA, the baddest street in the whole USA. And who hails from there? Michael P.S. Hayes, Terry Bam Bam Gordy, and Buddy Jack Roberts. The fabulous Freebirds. Dope, dope, dope. Bodyguards for 400. In late 1998, Andrew Martin caught the eyes of WWF officials while he was working as a bodyguard for Motley Crue and was soon signed to a contract using this ring name. This is not a test because the answer is test. Here comes nicknames for 400. Who is the Archer of Infamy? I love this gimmick when he was in NXT, basically as like a rock star hanging out in hot tubs with hot chicks. 
The answer here, the current, as of this recording, WWE World Heavyweight Champion, who is Damian Priest. And that brings us to Three's Company for 400. Name this wrestling trio of Drew McIntyre, Heath Slater, and Jinder Mahal. And the correct answer, who is 3MB? The only thing you need to remember is 3MB. Finishing up the 400 point round with Tag Team Brothers, this tag team of Texan Brothers had a solid three year run in the WWF, winning three tag team championships until they split in 1996. Now, I hope you paid attention to this clue, because if you look at it again and you see the word run, it has two ends. The correct answer, who are Billy and Bart, the smoking guns? And we're starting off the 600 point round with geography. All right, take some time to tally up your score and then make your daily double wager. All right, time is up. Here is this episode's Daily Double Clue. Who hails from the bottomless pit? Lock your door, check under your bed, and hopefully you don't hear the tick-tock of his clock. Hailing from a mysterious abyss known as the bottomless pit, we're talking about the boogeyman. <laughs> All right, here comes Bodyguards for 600. Before forming a tag team with the Barbarian called the Faces of Fear, this tough Tongan served as the muscle for Colonel Rob Parker and his stud stable in WCW. And the correct answer, who is Meng? <laughs> Nicknames for 600, who was called the Russian Bear? And the answer we're looking for, who was Ivan Koloff? Moving on to Three's Company for 600. Name the famous wrestling trio of Bam Bam Bigelow, Chris Candido, and the franchise, Shane Douglas. That would be the triple threat. And closing out the 600 point round with Tag Team Brothers, more famously known as Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder, these two brothers got their big break at the 2007 Armageddon pay-per-view where they played Edge's doppelgangers. And the answer would be Brett and Brian, the Major Brothers. All right, 15 questions down, 10 to go. Hopefully you're having as much fun as I am. If you are, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the ringy dingy notification bell so you always get notifications whenever we come out with a brand new episode of Wrestling Jeopardy, which is always every weekend, specifically on Saturdays. Man! Wow, man, freaked out! All right, and the 800 point round begins with a clue from Geography who hailed from Three Mile Island? One of my favorite WWF New Generation Era gimmicks. I always thought he'd make a good tag team with Bam Bam Bigelow. You could have paired him up, called him the Atomic Booms or something like that. Yes, I know I'm a big nerd, but the correct answer, who is Adam Bob? And that brings us to Bodyguards for 800. Wearing a suit and a constant frown, this bodyguard protected many a wrestler during the 1990s from the York Foundation and Lex Luger in WCW to Hunter Hearst Helmsley and Chris Jericho in the WWF. And that would be none other than Mr. Hughes. Moving on to nicknames for 800, whose nickname is Mr. No Days Off.
And the answer here, the artist formerly known as Darren Young, who is Fred Rosser. We're on to Three's Company for 800. Name this famous wrestling trio that consisted of The Ascension and Stardust. And these guys were known as the Cosmic Wasteland. Crazy! And let's close out the 800 point round with tag team brothers. On the surface, these two burly bearded men were easy to buy as brothers. Plus they won the NWA tag team gold together and were effective enforcers as part of the Four Horsemen. And the correct answer, who is Ole and Arn Anderson? Are you nuts? Don't f***ing do it again. Piss of I said f*** you. And Arn Anderson, I always liked him. All right, the steel cage is beginning to lower. The ominous music has begun to play, which can only mean one thing. We have reached the most difficult part of Wrestling Jeopardy, the thousand point round. Get your thinking caps on and let's go into geography for 1,000. Who hailed from the other side of the tracks? And the correct answer here would be former WWE Tag Team Champions Deuce and Domino managed by Cherry. Closing out bodyguards for 1,000, seven foot tall Jackson Andrews made only a handful of appearances for WWE in December 2010 when he acted as this Canadian wrestler's bodyguard. Talk about only being around for a cup of coffee, right, Mach? Yeah, cup of coffee in the big time. The correct answer, who is Tyson Kidd? And that brings us to the final clue from nicknames for 1000, who was the Latin heartthrob? Former world-class championship wrestling heavyweight champion, and he also played the Black Scorpion, managed at one time by Gary Hart. The correct answer, who is Al Perez? Let's move on to the final clue from Three's Company, famous or not so famous wrestling trios. Who were Jackson Riker, Steve Cutler, and Wesley Blake? How could you forget about these guys? The correct answer, who were the Forgotten Sons? And closing out the board with Tag Team Brothers for 1,000, after working elsewhere as the Destruction Crew and the Minnesota Wrecking Crew 2, the WWF transformed this veteran tag team into two spoiled rich brats and called them this. And that would be Bo and Blake, the Beverly Brothers. And we've reached Final Jeopardy where if you don't bet it all and go all in, then why, why'd you even really play this game? I mean, come on, just go for it all. It's not real money. I'm not going to be giving you anything. You're just basically playing for pride and bragging rights. So let's find out this episode's Final Jeopardy clue, which is Enhancement Talent. Similar to offensive linemen in football, these performers do the dirty work, despite often being overlooked and underappreciated by the common fan. Their technique selling and willingness to give back to the business make these wrestlers a special breed. So pull all that Enhancement Talent information from your noodle and place your wager right now. All right, time is up. Here is this episode's Final Jeopardy clue. As the infamous Abe Knuckleball Schwartz replacement Doink the Clown or the Brooklyn Brawler, this jobber took losses from just about everyone in the wrestling business. Good luck.
as the infamous Abe Knuckleball Schwartz, replacement Doink the Clown, or the Brooklyn Brawler, this jobber took losses from just about everyone in the wrestling business. A company guy through and through, this jobber carved out a legacy that will never be forgotten by fans. The correct answer, who is Steve Lombardi? And that does it for another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. If you like what you saw, please give this video a massive thumbs up and consider subscribing. My name is Kevin J. Callis, and I'll see you next time.